are the Gidea Kills Python part 1. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video. Alligators are ambush predators and drowning is their preferred method of killing prey. Crocodilians can wait for hours before ambushing its prey. If the alligator doesn't succeed in breaking its prey's neck, which is easily done with raccoons or possum or birds in general, but large pythons are difficult to kill, even for a fully grown alligator. Therefore, the python needs to be drowned. But the Everglades water level is extremely low during the dry season. The alligator needs to find deeper waters in order to kill the snake. After dragging the Burmese python through the swamp for hours, the snake becomes so agitated that it bites at anything in reach. The python's carcass was found a few days later. The alligator might have stashed it in an underwater burrow, but the decomposing gases pushed it to the surface. The alligator kept closely watching over its prey, but the floating carcass might attract other predators, including larger alligators. It is not fully understood if the shooing on the dead python is a conscious act or just an instinct, yet it is clear that the alligator tries to get the floating carcass under the water. The python skin is tough to say the least and even the alligator's constant biting doesn't seem to do much damage to it.
with low water level, the carcass remains visible and an open invitation for other predators to join the feast. This clearly seems to agitate the alligator and repeatedly it tries submerging the bloated python, but to no avail. The alligator will try to find a secure location, hiding for a few more days until progress decomposition will have the python's body broken down and ready to devour. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thank you for watching.